Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So to begin off this look, I actually haven't done any base or anything. I thought I'd just quickly fill in my brows and leave my skin bare just because we are doing quite a colourful look and we're using tape today so I didn't want to rip off any of the base. So first things first, grabbing your sticky tape, I'm going to place that on the corner of my eye, angling it up towards the tail of my brow to get that nice crisp sharp edge. Make sure they're even as well, you don't want one completely up and one on a different angle, so just compare the both and make sure that they're all good. Next step, grabbing a white cream eye base. I'm going in with this NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. This will help to create a nice blank canvas for the eyeshadows making them nice and pigmented and really stand out against the skin as well as creating something for them to adhere to and blend a little bit better. So I'm going in applying that all over the lid to make that area the most pigmented and then blending it up towards my brow. Just using my finger to pat it in. For our first shade today I'm going into my Chi Chi Pry palette and grabbing this kind of peachy nude shade on a fluffy blending brush from Zoeva. I'm going in and packing that up right against the tape, so the outer corner of the eye. And as I build up that colour, I'm blending it in through the crease to kind of diffuse it a little bit. It's acting as our transition shade today, so it doesn't need to be super, super pigmented, but enough to uh, allow a little transition into the brow bone area. So take your time with this step and slowly build it up. Once you've done that, we're going in with a more peachy pink shade. I love this colour, it's so stunning. Um, again, doing the same technique, I'm packing it on against the tape area to create a nice crisp line, nice sharp edge in the most pigmented area to be on the outer corner of the eye. And then as I diffuse that colour out, I'm blending it in towards the inner corner area. So first of all, pack on the colour on the outer corner and then blend it in towards the inner corner. I'm also using a soft definer brush this time to allow the pigment to be a little bit more intense. Next I'm going to take that initial fluffy brush and some of that peachy nude shade and I'm just going in and softening any of the edges that may have been a little bit harsh. Next I'm going to take this gorgeous like cool tone pink shade from the same palette and on a petite crease brush I'm going in and doing again the same technique so packing it on the outer corner, keeping it in the crease area, I'm not bringing it down towards the lash line area as you can see. All the shades that we've gone in with have all been through the crease and I'm just packing it on against the tape kind of creating a little sharp wing um, per se and then holding the bottom of the brush to create a nice soft application a soft hand I'm going in and buffing that through the crease area if you're holding the brush up too close to the bristles it can be a little bit harsh the application isn't as soft and diffused so just holding it down the bottom gives you a little bit more control then I'm going back in with the other shades that we've gone in with just to diffuse any harsh lines and edges. Next I'm going to take this deep purple shade on a pencil brush. I'm just going to start applying that right up against the tape, so starting from the outer corner of the eye, almost creating a smoked out wing effect, and then bringing that back through the crease area. Just mapping out that shape initially, so starting off with a little bit of that product and then going back in and building it up from there. As I go up towards the pink, I'm actually softening my pressure so it's more diffused and the line isn't as harsh. So I want the most pigment to be focused against the tape and the lash line area and as you bring it up, it slowly diffuses out. Same with through the crease as well. I want it to be a nice soft blend through the crease, nothing too harsh. Next to cut our crease, I'm going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Bot on a eye concealer brush. And just starting to carve out my crease, I'm going to carve the whole lid out. So I want to go from inner corner to outer corner. And to soften the edges where the concealer, or the eye base, sorry, meets the purple, I actually go in and just kind of use my finger to soften the edges so it diffuses out nice and soft and there's no harsh, like, cut crease line. Um, so it's nice and soft and diffused, basically. Then I go back in with that purple shade on a pencil brush and I just go and kind of try and blend that concealer into the purple so again there's no harshness. 
and I also take that beautiful pink shade on a precise shader brush and I just kind of carve out the edge of that concealer so I make the line nice and crisp and defined with a bit of that eyeshadow and also go back in again with a bit of that purple back through the crease area. Next taking Pegasus which is a beautiful kind of aqua turquoisey uh, eyeshadow. It's a foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek so it's a very intense shade. I'm going in and basically applying that all over the concealer. So where we've placed that eye base down and cut the crease I'm placing it all over that area. Then I go in with this absolutely stunning aquary blue shade which is a bit darker than Pegasus from the Chi Chi palette. I'm going in and packing that all over the lid just because I felt Pegasus was a little bit too light and I wanted it to diffuse into the purple a little bit more. So I went in and applied this beautiful kind of glittery shade all over the lid as well. And I feel like the two colors, so Pegasus and that beautiful blue shade, really were a perfect combination. They were so, so stunning. Then I go back in with that precise shader brush and just kind of crispen up any of the edges just so it's a really nice sharp line. Next I'm taking Sapphire from Morphe and I'm applying that initially with a precise shader brush through the crease area, the outer crease as well. I'm not taking it all the way across, just keeping it focused on the outer corner of the eye. Then I go in with my finger and just apply that to the outer corner to um, make it stand out and have a nice transition from Pegasus into that deeper blue into Sapphire. Then I'm going to take this beautiful shimmery purple shade from the same Chi Chi palette. I'm going in and applying that along the outer corner lash line area and through that outer crease. Next going in with that deep purple again, I'm just going over top on the very edges. So along that tape line to really deepen it up and make it really pigmented. And also on um, the outer crease area as well, kind of along where we place that purple shimmer but still not right over top of it just because I do want to stand out a little bit. That really deep matte purple just really deepened up that outer corner a bit more nicely just how I wanted it. Once you've blended all the shadows nicely together we're going in and highlighting the brow bone. This will clean up the area in case you brought it up a little bit too high in the crease and also give a little bit of light and attention there to lift the face and lift the eye shape. So I'm going in with WA from my Perth Travel Palette from Focalore and applying that with a pencil brush just to the very high points of the brow to, like I said, lift it up a little bit. Once you've done that, it should be a nice soft gradient effect along all the shadows. We're going to go and peel off the tape. You don't need it anymore and you should be left with a really nice, clean, crisp line. It's the most satisfying thing ever to do, I swear, peeling off the tape. Look at that crisp line. For lashes today, I'm going to go in with these feisty lashes from Anitude. I thought they were perfect with this look because they do kind of mimic that almond shape eye that we've created because the lashes are shorter on the inner corner and longer on the outer corner and they also don't cover up too much of the eyeshadow, all that eyeshadow work that we've done. For my waterline, I'm going to take this nude eye coal from Models Prefer and I'm just going to line my waterline with that to really open up the eyes. Then for my bottom lash line, I'm initially going to take this kind of royal blue shadow and mix it in with some of Sapphire from Morphe. And on a precise shader brush, I'm wiggling that tightly against my bottom lash line area from outer to inner corner. Initially starting on my outer corner so that area is the most pigmented to kind of mimic the almond shape eye. And then we're just bringing whatever's left on the brush towards the inner corner. Then I'm going to take some of this light blue shade and mix it in with some of this kind of deeper blue. Again from the Chi Chi palette on a pencil brush I'm going to blend out those deeper royal blue shades to create a nice soft smoky bottom lash line and a nice soft gradient as well. For my inner corner highlight I'm going to take some of Ice Queen and Pegasus to create a kind of nice kind of baby blue pastel -y colour and I'm going to highlight my inner corner with that. And finally, I'm going to finish off with some bottom lash mascara, and that is the eyes complete. I really hope you guys enjoyed this really colourful eye makeup look. Uh, being stuck at home, it's been nice to kind of go really dramatic, and I mean, if you're really bored at home like me, playing with makeup is such a great way to pass the time. And I was so happy with how this look turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have any requests for future videos, please make sure to leave them linked down below. 
Otherwise, I hope to see you in my next video. Have an amazing time. Stay sane, stay happy and healthy, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Sand in your feet, feel the breeze in the summertime Stars in the sky, one dime for the first time Moving away to the sea